Hello and welcome to Laura Fenn Gaming Plays Number One Tonight Enhanced Edition. I'm your host Laura Fenn, and today's Number One Tonight Enhanced Edition guide. I'm going to show everybody how to complete every single henchman quest in Chapter One. That is correct, folks. We're going to complete every single one and get all their items. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Never Winter Night content like this. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on my uh, content. So, you're asking, why should I do all the work and waste uh, time and money? Here's the thing. They all upgrade in Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, and the stats are pretty good. For instance, Lin Lu's pendant right here has Dexterity plus 1 and Dark Vision for those who can't see in the dark. Finally, is uh, Grimgraw has Spell Resistance 10 and Constitution plus 1. Now, Broyanok has Charisma plus one and Health Regeneration plus one, which is good. Uh, Daylin right here has Immunity to Fear and Strength plus one. And uh, Tamai has Open Lock and Disarm Trap plus one and Dexterity, which is good too on the Dexterity. And finally, Shani right here has Perform plus one, Persuade plus one, and Charisma plus one. And the thing is, is you could do this all in Chapter one and have these items ready. So this guide will show you how to get these quests, where to find the items, and how to benefit. Remember, you need the money, so at least we complete the Peninsula District to get all of them, and speak to them every time when you level up. So now I am going to go through each and every uh, character on how to uh, get their item. So here's the first one. The first one up is Tamai, yeah, the uh, Halfling Rogue. He is in the Temple tier when you actually start Chapter 1. He's one of the first henchmen you'll actually have an option to get. Like I said before, you need to speak with them, then persuade them to uh, join your party for less money. If not, well, you have to join for that amount he wants. Still, you need to talk to him every time you level up, and then eventually he does need an item. So, I'm going to get everybody that location that item right now. Now... Tomai's items is in the Beggar's Nest in Chapter 1 when you go inside this building right here to look for uh, Aldo's uh, worker Hector right here. All you need to do is uh, go back here towards this bookshelf right here. Go uh, check the bookshelf out and grab this note right here. This will uh, be the item you need to give to uh, Tomai. So what we're going to do right now is do that exactly. Later on when you get through Tomai's story he'll give you a update on the quest to look for that item. Well, I already did show you the item. All you need to do is speak with them and turn in that said item. We're going to do that now. See right there, we just turn that in. Once you uh, do turn that in, you will get Tomai's ring. This is upgradable in Chapter 2 and in Chapter 3 when you do his other quests in those respective chapters. That is it for now for Tomai the Rogue. Now, next up is Grimgra. He is right here in the Trade of Blades in Chapter 1. Now, here's a warning. You could dismiss him for uh, good because he is evil. Really evil. Unless you're evil, then you're fine. Still, you want to do this uh, side uh, quest because he gives you a nice constitution necklace if you want those. And spell resistance if you do need those. So, simply speak to him. That's where he's right here. So, now, next up in the video is actually where his uh, ring is at. So, let's show that right now. Now, inside No Man's Land, this one is very simple to find. It's in an unmarked building, so what I'm going to do right now is actually show you it. Once you get inside this unmarked building up ahead, you need to take out resistance and then destroy this uh, desk or lock picket. Once you uh, do that, then simply loot up the pile or the desk itself, and a silver ring will be there. This will be a different looking ring than you see in the game right here. See, this is a silver ring you need to give to Grimgraw right here. That's the silver ring. See right there, it's unique looking. So now next up, we'll actually show you the turn in step. Now, advance Grimgraw's quest like normal until you get to a point where he's asking for a ring. Yes, you have the ring already, so make sure you uh, turn it in. If not, go back to No Man's Land where I show you exactly, and you will get the ring and his necklace for chapter one. Like I said before, word of caution, if you get rid of him, you get rid of him for uh, good. This is not bad constitution necklace right here. So that is it for uh, Grimgraw. Now next up is Body Knock right here. This is where you get him in the Trade of Blades, same as most of the henchmen except for Tomai. So simply talk to him, like I said before, every time you level up, talk to Body Knock, 
and eventually he'll give you his quest. So now let's talk about his item, which is really easy to get. Inside the Baker's Nest, where the zombies are, you need to go to Shrill's Bakery. It is exactly right here. There's a sign right here. Once you clear the zombies out, loot the Baker's Body. That is it right there. That's the recipe that Body Knock needs. Real simple to get, really easy to get, and early on too, I might add. Once you get the recipe, and after you talk to him in between levels, he'll give you a quest to get the recipe. Now, if you already got the recipe, this is very simple. Just finish talking to him, and then what happens is you just simply turn it in. This is really simple, really easy to do. Like I said before, since it is inside the beggar's nest, so I'm going to turn this in right now, and we're going to get the uh, ring from him. Like I said, it's a pretty good ring since it has health regeneration and charisma plus one. So that is it for uh, Body Knock Chapter 1. And the trade of blades is Dalen Red Tiger. Yes, you need to speak with him. He's really easy to find. As I said before, you just need to speak to him every time you level up so you advance his uh, tail. And eventually he does need an item, so let's show everybody where that item is right now. In the docks district, after getting past the blood sailors, just simply bash this chest up or open it up with a rogue or someone with lockpicks. Loot the contents right here and Dalen's uh, brooch is exactly right there. So that's uh, Dalen's item, so now let's uh, turn it into him right now. Now, after you get the brooch, speak to Dalen Red Tiger right here. Resume his tail and then just turn it into him. Once you do turn in this brooch right here, you will get the necklace plus one of his. Yes, this is upgradable in chapter two and three when you do more of his side quests. So that is it for Dalen right here. Now, Shaween right here is very simple to find. Trade of Blades, and you just need to speak with her. She's real easy to do. Like I said before, with the gold, make sure you persuade her for a cheaper amount. Otherwise, yeah, you gotta pay the full price. Now, her item is the earliest you could get in the uh, game, so we're gonna show you that right now. In the Palenza District inside Tanglebrook Estate right here, get past the trap door right here. There's an alchemy table right here, straight ahead. Real easy to get. You get this very early on since this is one of the first districts you should visit in the entire game. So go over here, loot it up right here. There's the Celestial Elixir. So now we're going to turn this into Shaween. With the Celestial Elixir in hand, just speak with Shawnee right here. Once you get this point in our uh, personal tail right here, just simply turn in. This is really easy to do. Like I said before, you get this the earliest in the game. In fact, she's one of the first ones you actually get. So that is it for her. Let's get to the next person. Next up is Lin Lu. She is inside the Trade of Blades in Chapter 1. Just speak with her. If you have enough persuasion, you get her cheaper. If not, you got to pay the full price. She is very good cleric, by the way. Really good, too. So now next up is her item for her uh, quest. Inside Melodian Sanctum, inside his estate, which is at the Black Lake District, you could fight him and get it afterwards or beforehand. So go in this cabinet right here and loot up the Silver Chalice right here. After we are done with that, we're going to speak with Lulu since she is close by and our companion. As I said before, when you progress further through her quest via leveling, you get to the point where she needs the chalice, and you have it, just turn it in. It's really simple. There's your pendant of the elf right here that has all the henchmen in this uh, chapter. When you complete all the henchmen tales, you get all their items for chapter one. That's all their items right there. That's very easy to do. You should be able to hold on all of them because when you do their chapter two counterparts, they'll be upgraded. That is it for my Neverwinter Night Enhanced Edition How to Complete All the Henchmen Quests in Chapter 1. This is Lorefent signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.